Whatever time you are watching this webisode, I hope it is good. My name is Jeff Schubert, and my discovery of East Brunswick continued at Playhouse 22, which is the local community theater for East Brunswick. Now, despite my own pursuit of a career in acting, community theater is something I've never even participated or, or visited, so I was really looking forward to checking this out. And it turns out Playhouse 22 is an award-winning theater company. Whether you are a patron of theater or someone who thought about acting and maybe giving it a try to get up on stage and get your Shakespeare on, I think this is a webisode you're going to enjoy. Don't in the cellar, for Christ's sake! How can you bear to let it go on? Oh, me, huh? Well, who runs off? Who goes away? mean anything to you! Adam. How's it going, Jeff? Good. Thanks for having me come in tonight. Oh. Playhouse 22, I was doing research. I couldn't figure out how you guys got your name. <laughs> I see you're nowhere near Route 22, right? No, uh, Playhouse 22 is actually, we're the East Brunswick Community Players, is the name of our organization. And uh, we were founded in 1958, and for 22 years we weren't without a home. And so, 22 years into our history, we worked with the township, got a new facility built on Dunham's Corner Road, and it was called Playhouse 22. Fast forward to 2005, we had the opportunity to move out of our original home to here and came to the East Brunswick Community Arts Center. The name Playhouse 22 is well known in town. It's a name, we didn't want to change it, so we still stuck with Playhouse 22, even though our legal name is at East Brunswick Community Players. Mousetrap, longest running play in the history of theater. How did you come about choosing that? Well, we try to mix it up. Some of the classic shows, some of our newer shows, and Mousetrap is one of those shows that our audience has been asking for for a long time. I think that you were actually one of the magistrates. You're right, I would. Don't you like it? Remind you of your childhood, perhaps. We keep a lot of fowl and we don't play as well as they should, but why on earth didn't you give the best room? You're an award-winning theater company, right? Yes, yes you, we are. You, it's the uh, New Jersey Com Association, Association, Association of, of Community, community Theaters, theaters, theaters right? And JAC. And you have you were nominated for eight in 2017. Yep. How, how many did you win? We won with? one award this past year. And, and the previous year you won? Three. And you were nominated for like over 20. In yeah, 24 awards. Right. And uh, I guess last year was the biggest prize was Best Musical of the Year, which is like Best Movie of the Year on the Academy Award. That's fantastic. This is the green room, right? Yep. Can, can we take a look at that? Hopefully nobody's in here. Knock, oh, knock. Look. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you, thank you. So this is where um, actors and actresses change and relax yeah, before shooting. We have the dressing rooms here. Before stage. But this is mostly where they hang out before the show. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest challenge in putting a production together? Uh, keeping the trains on schedule. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I say keeping the trains on schedule, is making sure the director and the production staff is all working as a team. Sometimes the director has a vision that if it doesn't translate down to the costumes or the prop or the set, you have tension. And the goal is to get that all focused. And sometimes you have to put out fires, sometimes you have to start fires. Welcome to the creative process. Yeah. The scene shot. Can, can, we, can we go in there? No, absolutely. Yeah, great. Let's take a look. So welcome to the scene shop. This always seems to be in a constant state of need to be cleaned up. Any stories behind anything I'm looking at here? We, oh, got, a, we got a dartboard, we got the Burger Palace. Burger Palace from Greece, okay. uh, the 1776 tally board, which is starting to show its age. Corny Collins from Hairspray, Leo Bloom from Producers, Zangers Follies from My Fair, uh, from um, Crazy For You, or known as Crazy For Sandy around here because that was during Hurricane Sandy. Uh -huh. Adam, thanks so much for the tour and for letting us film some of your rehearsal. And am I allowed to ask information on ticket prices oh, yeah, and absolutely. subscriber information? Yep. Ticket prices are very affordable. $22 for adults, $20 for seniors and students. Subscribers range on how many shows you want to get. I mean, anything from 40, 50 bucks for the season to 80 or $90 for the full season. I mean, depending on what you want. And uh, there's still, everything's available on our website, playhouse22.org. Uh, you pick your own seats, you can just print them up, the tickets at home, and not even see us at the box office. Makes our lives a lot easier. Now, let's talk about East Brunswick real quick. What do you, you, how long have you lived in and or around the area? I've lived in East Brunswick since 1981. Okay. So I've pretty much 95% of my life 
family's still in town, graduated from the high school. This is my hometown. And what do you love about East Brunswick? What I love about East Brunswick is our diversity. We're a town that has 37 different houses of worship. We have uh, Route 18 that has any kind of shopping you want up there. We have parks, we have recreation, we have community theater that's been around for almost 60 years. I just love this town because of everything that it offers, and it's my hometown. Fantastic. Now, if you can do one thing in East Brunswick, aside from taking a fine night of theater, <laughs> what would it be? I think we'd just spend a, night, uh, spend a day at Bicentennial Park. It's my, one of my favorite places in town. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you again so much for the time, and congratulations on the award. Yep. 1776 from last September, we got that. Best Proud musical. of that. Proud. Best musical. Fantastic. Too many more. What's interesting to me is that on the one hand, Playhouse 22 is completely volunteer run. Anyone can audition from their plays. Bob from accounting. Why is it always Bob from accounting? Why not Ralph, Peter, or James? Anyway, they have people with lots of credits in their plays and they're very well received in their community. They also are award-winning theater company and they compete with 150 other theaters across the state of New Jersey. So it's not, you know, small time. They really got their stuff going on here. So if you want to take in a great night of theater or if you want to audition and maybe participate yourself, check out Playhouse 22. Why not? Do something different if you haven't tried it in a while. Come on, I give you an you liar! You you make! You funny little thing! You funny! I gave you an order, but come back or I'll beat you!